Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and I'm joined by the lovely Matthew Holdsworth. Hello, Matthew. Hi, Richard. Nice to see you again. We are walking on a little bit more of our exploration of the Green Sand Way. We certainly are, yes. So we're already walking. So where, where, where did we leave our lovely viewers when they were following us last, and where are we headed? The last time we were over us on the Deep Dean Estate, oh, um, yes. on the Green Sand Way. We're now in Brockham. That's um, it. We've done a vid uh, little video about Brockham itself. It's a, one of the villages on the A, just off the A25. Yep. And now we're on the Green Sand Way, heading towards Betchworth. Lovely. So what this this is past the Green Sand area, but it's not on a big hill like the hills to the west of Dorking. Right. So we are on sandstone here, but the hills are much more subtle. At oh, this okay. Stage. Yes. And and actually, we're sort of in the lee of the hills um, to the north here. Aren't we are. We? Yes. Yes. Uh, and and they're, are they? They're not. Uh, are they? the sort of north downs those are the chalk north downs yes yes now this is looking optimistic here is a sign hopefully for the green sand away <laughs> and before we head off down that uh, little pathway uh, we just had a nose inside this little brick enclosure what are we looking at here Matthew? Uh, this was the village pound oh good yes. I, I like to spend a pound <laughs> No, a pound for animals. For a pound for animals, yes, the horses and cows and things, I think. So they could be locked up or kept in overnight. Yeah. Um, or also sometimes strays. Yes, it was just a place, I think, to keep them secure. Yeah. Something, something had got out. Absolutely. Oh, and it's a tiny little enclosure. Here. It is. So hopefully they weren't expecting too many. No. <laughs> from 18... Uh, it's, uh, own, it's Brockham's... It says there, Brockham's own Act of Parliament from 1812. Yeah. So there we go. And I allowed only poultry to depasture the green. That's a Gosh. wonderful bit of uh, language, isn't it? Depasture. Yes. Meaning nibble on the grass? Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're going down a, a little bit of a pathway here past this laurel hedge and uh, away from the village. lovely little stretch it is isn't it that we're coming to oh yeah. hello oh what's that it's a it's a world war ii pillbox by the looks of it the they were built uh down right along the route of the river mole as i think they were thought that this might have been a way of invasion that the germans might have come up to get to london oh on that one very of, shallow river yeah well it's one of the few natural gaps to get up through um uh, through the north downs so they would have been able to get their tanks and what have you so oh, they've right. had these as last line of defense i think Gosh. So this one looks remarkably well preserved. I wonder if you can get inside. I have no idea. Because obviously everybody <laughs> wants to go inside. Yep. Uh, the last one I looked at was bricked. Oh, this one's bricked up. That's totally bricked up, I think. Uh, yep. I suppose that's a, a sensible thing, really, mm. uh, because you do get you do get your vandals and what have you. But it's yeah. Oh well, there we are. We. No matter where you go, there is always something. There is. Something interesting. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. Grand. We'll crack on. We'll crack on then. <coughs> Another lovely little bridge over a little stream leading down into the River Mole. And, oh wow, look. Here we go, Matthew. This has opened up. Yeah. And over there to our left, in the, in the deep distance, uh, the, the White Cliffs, they, they're, they're familiar. Right, that's the chalk of the North Downs over there, so that's the, the chalk belt that goes all, all the way from... I don't know where it goes from, but it'll end up at the Cliffs of Dover. Oh, right. Mm. Well, we better crack on, because it's a fair old way to, to the end of our green sand walk. Well, yes, I mean, that's right down at Ham Street in Kent, which yes. is, uh, you know, not far away from there. But there we are, we, we have come out from that delightful village, past the, uh, the mole, which is now winding away to our right. And we're carrying on. You've not walked this. I've not I'm, walked this. I've not walked this. But this is very um, of the. Uh, uh, of the it's very much like the low wheel uh, appearance now. All yes. of a sudden, uh, part, many parts of the Green Sand we were on have actually been quite hilly. Hilly, and and, is, and, and in woodland as well. Uh, yes, this is very much more rolling, uh, sort of just rolling countryside. Rolling generally. Surrey countryside. Oh, yes. there's a gate here. I'll let you do that. I thought you would. Ooh, then. And here we are, coming out onto some more of the, the lovely rolling countryside. 
To get to uh, Betchworth, yes, that we're heading. How far is that? It's roughly? only about. Um, it's about a mile and a half between the two yeah, the two so villages. I would say. So not a. Uh, terribly long stroll no but it would have been a way to go when uh, before they had a church in uh, yes oh so they would have taken this route probably. probably one of these routes or one of the roads that go in between the blackberries mm. are just uh, turning here uh, they've been turning for some time actually haven't they, they have they seem to have like quite a long time now you can harvest them I think yes and, uh, but uh, there seems to be a wealth of uh, fruit on the trees yeah. and in the, and in the bushes which is fantastic we're just looking here also oh you've t by the way you've just uh, sampled a blackberry no, they are, they're very nice these are very sweet ones lovely mm, very good um all along here this particular path that we're on now mm. has chestnuts yeah uh, yeah uh, horse chestnuts thank mm. you for correcting me no problem um and they're all along here let me just pan past some of them all in a straight line and we think that's because we're getting very close to the Betchworth estate yes so uh, the Betchworth estates there's still a big country house um, just on the outside of outskirts of Betchworth who own quite a lot of the land uh, around Betchworth and quite a number of the houses so these are it's changed here yes. Matthew, isn't it yeah so these are sweet chestnuts these are sweet chestnuts so you've yeah. got a whole load of chestnuts uh, horse chestnuts and then you've got these beautiful sweet chestnuts and I I do love the sweet chestnuts yeah. the, the the bark of the tree is all twisted uh, they are so distinctive they're lovely trees burn well as well i think do they i think so yeah i haven't Good tried any on my essay <laughs> about another month they'll be ready i think yeah this will be the place to come and collect them for christmas absolutely this all bodes well matthew we're, it looks like we're coming into somewhere there's a yes. graveyard ahead i think so dead center of town ah yeah um, yes I think we're getting to Betchworth now. Ah, fantastic. Here and we are. Here is and the here church. is the church. Yes. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'll let you do the gate mm. again. Nice squeaky, squeaky gate, that one. Yes. Wow, look at that. There we are. Now, I have been to this church once before, haven't I, in a I video? Th I think you have, yes, with uh, with Mark. But approached it from the other side. Uh, yes, yes, I think you did. Some, some time ago. Now, and I know Mark himself has been here a few times. Uh, yeah. This is actually a quite a well-known church uh, for those of you who like four weddings and a funeral. This is where the first wedding was held. Oh, right. Now, I think in the previous video, I mentioned in, um, at the church at Rockham about Rygate Stone and it not really being Rygate Stone. This is Rygate Stone. This is Rygate Stone. Stone, built out of Rygate Stone. But they had to rebuild the top of the tower. So what defines Rygate Stone? Is, uh, it's, is it just local it's to Rygate? Lo it's local to Rygate, but it's particularly crumbly kind of ironstone stuff. Shall we see if we can get in? Let's have a look. What would you think this building is built on? Uh, Rygate, Rygate stone. Rygate stone. Yes, it's, a, it's an iron stone of sorts. Fine, thank you very much indeed. That's no, no problem. So this is quite a big church. And we can get in. Yes. Sorry, I slammed the door. <laughs> Please close the door. Gently. <laughs> Gently. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. So this is a... Um, I think I think parts of it date from the 12th century. It is a, a medieval church, obviously Victorian additions and all the the usual. Um, but much like um, much like Brockham, uh, sorry, uh, yes, Brockham, it has an interesting organ. Oh, uh, this is a very modern organ. I think it was only installed in about 2012, 2013. You, you're a man who knows your organs. Oh well, you know, um, only only from a sort of choir perspective. But I, I have been in here once before. And spotted that this one was particularly shiny. We have the altar in front of you and again we have another depiction. We, we saw this in a previous video when we were looking at um, Christ Church uh, in Brockham. In Brockham, Brockham yes. Church. But this one has the depiction of, of the, uh, the Last Supper. Similar sort of depiction to the one actually. that was carved but mm. this looks like it is carved out of um, stone. At the back there's something interesting um, here which is quite a modern font. Oh, let's if go I can, and have a look at that. If I yeah. can show you that, which is quite a... Uh, I think it's a memorial for someone who, I think, died quite young or died in the war. So, yes, it's, it's quite sort of uh, mid to late 20th century, I think. Oh, wow, that, yes. But it's, it's, it's quite unusual, um, and it's quite well... Um, uh, people, you know, quite well respected as, as quite a fine example. Because you don't get that many modern fonts, especially in an old church. His son, pilot officer... Oh, Joseph Black James. Erskine, 
Gunning, 1919. So yes, it was a memorial from the First World War. Very nice. Mm. And it sort of kills two birds with one stone in a way, doesn't it? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was uh, fortuitous that we could get in. Yes. I think when I was filming here with Mark before, we couldn't get in. So that's added a little extra bonus for me. Um, and lovely that you've got that extra bit of info yeah. on the church. I know. I, I was here, I think, a year or two back and I had a look around then. So I tried to remember some of it. <laughs> and as I recall... You've got the church there behind us, yes. but there is this rather marvellous little gate that we're just going to walk through now. It's lovely, I suppose so it's a, a lich gate of sorts. Of, yes, it's sort of, it's, it is very, well, just very beautiful. And this is, yes, there's not much to Betchworth, is there? It's quite straggled out. It's, is it? It goes quite a, uh, you know, a long way along. You've got the, there's a pub just here, I think. And actually that is one of the entrances just to our right into the manor house. Just to, to, our, to our right, our right oh, yes. there, that's, if I that's just there. come around here. Oh, into the, into the Betchworth estate? Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, all we've got time for. Another little part of our Green Sand Way. If we were to continue, where would that take us? Uh, that maybe? would take us to Rygate Heath. Ah, nearer to where you live. Ne much nearer to where I live, yes. Yes. And then to the, um, I think it goes directly past the windmill, uh, which we did the, with the church in it, which we've done a video of So before. if you have followed that, uh, you can check them out. But we will no doubt uh, pick ourselves up from here, will we? Uh, yes, I think it'll be from here and we will go... On, a, east. on another occasion yes thank you so much matthew it's no been problem. another joy uh so don't forget to follow like subscribe all the usual become a patron become a patron thank very you very important. much yes put petrol in the car and all of that um you're going to leave me stranded here now and uh I'll walk, just walk back home yeah yeah <laughs> great thanks till next time join us again when we go exploring the green sand way till then from matthew and i bye-bye bye-bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye.